Hello folks, welcome to demonstration video number 10 of my eShop project. So folks, today I am going to explain about the basic design of user profile page of our eShop web application. So without further ado, let's go to web browser to see our design. As you can see, now I am on the home of our eShop. So to access the user profile page, we have to use this drop down menu to the right side of our header section. Then as you can see, the first option of that drop down menu is my profile. Let's click on that to see what happens. As you can see our eShop is not letting us to access the user profile page and keep reloading the home page. Let's check why this is keep happening. As you can see here to the left side of our header we are not logged into our account yet. It's a fairly obvious thing that if we need to go to our user profile page first we need to sign into our profile. So now I am gonna do that. As you can see now I am inserting my email and password on the sign in page. Ok now we are logged in and back on the home page. Let's try to access our user profile page again. That attempt was successful, now we are on our user profile page. First you can see in the usual way we have our header section on top of this page. No wonder our footer section is on the bottom of this page. Ok now let's inspect our main body section. As you can see the body section of this user profile page is mainly made of three parts. This first part is here to show our user profile picture, then our user's first name, then the last name, then the email address, then here's the option to update the user profile picture. When clicking on this button, it opens Explorer to search for images to update. Then this second part is here to see and change the details of the users. As you can see, the title of that section says Profile Settings. A user can edit the details on these fields along the way if they want to. As you can see here, this is our first name field and then this is our last name field. Then this is our mobile number field, then this is our email address field. As you can see here, this is our account password field. If we want to see our password, we can use this button with eye icon to view that. As you can see when I'm clicking on the show password button, it changes its icons. Then this is our user's registered date field. Then this field is showing first part of the user's address. Then this part is showing second part of the user's address. Then there are three drop down menus to select province, district and city respectively. Then here is our postal code field. Then this field is showing selected gender of the user. Then as you can see four of these fields are grayed. These are grayed because we are not letting users to change them from here. Especially this email field right here. Then finally on the bottom you can see our update profile button here. Then as you can see the third part of our user profile's body section is reserved for showing advertisements. Ok now let's get into the coding part of things. So I am going to the VS code now. First we need to check out our header part.php file. As you can see here inside this header part.php file, I am linking my user profile.php file to the my profile option of the drop down menu. Ok, now let's go to our user profile.php file. To keep our user profile's design running in the state it should be, I am linking some other files inside this user profile.php file. First inside of our head tags, I am linking bootstrap.css, then bootstrapicons.css, then bootstrap.min.css, then fontawesome.min.css. Then I am linking our own style.css file too. Then by the bottom of our body tags, I am linking bootstrap bundle.js file and our own script.js file. Then inside of this PHP script, I am including our header part.php file. Then inside of this PHP script, I am including our footer section.php file. Then these session codes are checking out whether the user is signed in or not. If the user wasn't logged in, this is redirecting our user back to the home.php file. When our user was logged in, this search query is searching our databases for the information of that user. I am using PHP scripts like these to set those retrieved data from our databases about that user to input fields. I am adding this read only attribute to the fields that we are not letting users to change. 
Okay, now let's finally see how to create that show account password button related things. From this pan, I am calling a JavaScript function as show password of the user profile page. As you can see, our account password field's input type is currently set to password. Then I am setting the icon that should be shown when the password is not showing as a readable text. As usual, we are just using the icons that was provided by Bootstrap. Then I added IDs to those elements that need to be grabbed from the JavaScript side. Ok, now let's go to our script.js file. As you can see, under this JavaScript function, I am grabbing those elements using IDs. Then this part changes password fields input type from password to text when clicking on that eye icon button. From this line, it changes the eye icon too. When clicking on eye icon button again, it goes back to the normal state as you can see from these codes. So folks, that's all I have to demonstrate in today's video. Stay tuned for the 11th one. See ya.